loves i am back again with another video this time around i'll be showing you how i make my crispy and sticky wings something that you're definitely gonna enjoy during this lockdown okay loves for this recipe we are definitely going to need some wings because obviously it's a wings recipe i just added that sauce i'm gonna show you the name because i'm not gonna say that name yes that one mm -hmm. you definitely have it in your kitchen and then, because I was so lazy to bring something else in order to add the salt, I just decided to mix together my salt and my paprika. <laughs> okay, we all get lazy, guys. Come on. And as you can see, I decided to mix that. Some people will put eggs at this point, will dip their wings in eggs. I'm not a fan. I just prefer them like that. The next step is to make a dry rub, which you're going to use flour. My cup is 250 ml. You can decide to use more or less. And I added three teaspoons of baking powder and paprika with salt. Don't ask me why I combined the two. <laughs> and then I use the exotic uh, spices. I was doing my best to show you. I think my sister was like asking me, are you showing the people what you use it? That's why I kept like putting everything into the camera because she was holding my phone. And by the way, guys, I'm using a, a phone to make this video. So if the quality is not good, please bear with me. I know it's not up to standard, but please bear with me. And uh, I don't think I got enough of that barbecue, hey? It looks like it didn't even come out. It happens all the time with my rubbers and spices. I think I need to find something where I put all my spices, like remove them from the containers and just put them somewhere. You don't really have to use all of these herbs, guys. You can use whatever herbs that you have. And also you can use fresh herbs if you have them. That's entirely up to you. And then obviously we have to mix this. I am so sorry guys, I swear if there was any way that I could try and work out this video, I would have. But the only option I have is to make this video smaller and then only then you guys will be able to see this entire thing. I don't know why my video is like cropped in this way. I am so sorry guys, but obviously you can see what I'm doing here. I am actually putting the coat, I don't know what it is, but yeah, I'm coating the wings with my dry rub. And then putting them aside. I think I eventually got tired and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to put everything. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> yeah, I did. They, they, mm -hmm, I'm that girl. <laughs> okay, after putting the rub on all your wings, you have to fry them. Which is what I'm doing here. And... I am so sorry for what you are about to witness. <laughs> yes, I am scared to death of burning myself. So every time I cook, I always try and maintain that distance like that. <sighs> I was keeping my distance from my food before the coronavirus, guys. But not when I'm eating. No, when I'm eating, like, we get close and personal. I love my food like that, but not when I'm making it. It's the same with live chickens. I, I don't get closer to live chickens, but look at me. Look at me. Look at what I'm doing with, the, with them when they did. Yeah. And guys, please always make sure that you stay safe and do what I'm doing. If you want to live longer, if you want to look cuter, I'm joking. <laughs> but you won't burn yourself this way. In order to make sure that your wings are cooked perfectly, make sure that you let them cook at least 5 minutes on one side and 5 minutes on the other. I am sorry I did not show you the part when I was turning them over because I was just trying to make this video as short as possible.
This is the final product after frying our wings. You can have them like this. They are crispy but not yet sticky. So if you want to make them sticky, I'll show you how to make the sauce. I'm pretty sure that you're asking yourself, why is this girl showing us the sticky wings without showing us how she made the sauce? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow, so you really waited when I told you to wait. How nice. <laughs> I was joking, guys, by the way. In order to make our sauce, I uh, use um, barbecue sauce. You can use tomato sauce if you have, but I will always recommend that you use um barbecue sauce because it doesn't have that um sour taste to it that tomato paste has but also i always add uh, sugar or honey so that might help you with the sour taste that comes from the tomatoes and then i added my uh, i forgot to show you but it's uh i think whoosh i can't say the word guys i'm sorry that sauce yeah the one that i added on the wings earlier that's the same one and then I used my Robertson's mixed tabs and I went ahead and added my dried parsley my stove was on at this point yours doesn't have to be it can be if you're not gonna pin your sauce and then I added sugar I used brown packed sugar okay it was a mixture of packed sugar and loose sugar <laughs> But it was brown sugar. You can replace the sugar with honey. That's up to you. And then I added my vinegar. I don't know how to explain this. But I usually add my vinegar. Because I like I like the taste of it. That sour bit of taste. And also because I feel like it helps. All the sauces come together. Like also. The sauces are thick as they are. So when you put um, vinegar. It helps loosen them up. Even though the heat also does that, but I also like that taste of vinegar. And that's it. You have your sauce. How nice. And easy. For my sauce, guys, I always, always use what I have. If I don't have something, I don't use it. And my wings always come out perfect the entire time. And then you let your sauce to cook. Okay, I added chilies. <laughs> you can add them or if you don't like them too hot, don't add them. Guys, I am so sorry for that sound, but I am not going to do another voiceover. This is like the seventh one. So please bear with me. This is my favorite part. I love doing this. <laughs> And, guys, I would advise that you put your wings while on your sauce while it's hot. Because at this point, your sauce, it's, um, how, do, how do I explain this? It's not concentrated. And whatever you put in, it will be distributed, like, equally. Whereas, if your sauce is already cold and thick, chances are you're going to have to work harder to make sure that each and every piece of meat gets the sauce. I'm not sure if I'm making sense. I don't even know where I'm editing this video now because I finished these wings already and I'm looking at them and I want to make them again, but it's at night. <sighs> life. My life choices. Yeah, ne? And we are done, guys. We are done. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to leave a comment below. And if there's anything else that you want me to make in the next video, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to make it if I can.